Terry Fox is probably Canada's most famous athlete. He is Canada's Athlete of the Year. Keep up the good work and God bless him. Been a real success story all the way around. Keep up your courage. We're all behind you. The whole damn country. Terry Fox has always loved athletics. He was track and field champion in high school. He played first string varsity basketball and he was captain of the school's soccer team. Then, in his senior year, it was discovered he had a very dangerous form of cancer, and to keep it from spreading, his entire right leg was amputated. It had to be pretty devastating to find out at 18, when you're just starting a life, that it might be over for you. How did you react? I knew I could be the losing the leg part, but what I wasn't prepared for was the cancer, going through chemotherapy, the treatments, um, the, the hospital, other people dying, and, that, and, that, and that was something I didn't even know about, so it wasn't a shock until I actually began treatment. But that was a lot harder than losing my leg, because I was very, quite sick. A friend of mine came into my room, showed me an article of a guy from New York who ran with one leg, and I told myself then if he could run, one day I'd be able to run too. And then I had a dream that came into my head that one day I'd try and run across Canada. And uh, during that time, I saw there a lot of other people dying of cancer, people my age, and the effects of chemotherapy and radiation. And I just decided I'd, I would try and run across Canada, but not just to say I did it on one leg and, and then to say that, that I could do it, but to try and raise as much money as I could for the Canadian Cancer Society. The way you run is uh, supposedly there's a name for it? Well, they call it the fox trot because I take an extra hop of my left leg in order to have time for my right leg to come through. Have there been any personal sacrifices you've had to make in order to do this? I can't call it a sacrifice when I'm doing something I want to do. <laughs> and uh, to me, I wouldn't really want to do anything else. A lot of people think I'm crazy doing this. But uh, if, if you're happy, if I'm happy doing it and then I'm crazy, well, I'll be happy crazy. <laughs> Terry was on mile 2,116 of his remarkable odyssey when I caught up with him. How many more miles have you got to go? About 3,184. Ouch! <laughs> That's a lot of blisters. This is one heck of a way to raise money, Terry. <laughs> well, it isn't supposed to be easy. If things don't come easy, things are worthwhile anyway. That's right. I always say to people on the street, you could take my other leg away. And I'd probably be even tougher than what I am right now with one. What do you do for a side ache? <laughs> What I, all I do is keep on going until it goes away. Oh. I waved goodbye to Terry as he continued his marathon of hope. He didn't look back because he's looking ahead, always striving for that extra mile. This is more than one man's courageous battle against cancer. Terry was out to unite his nation against this terrible disease. Miles of lonely highways stretched before him. At times, the pain and pressure on his hip was unbearable. But Terry kept going, averaging an unbelievable 26 miles a day. That's like running a marathon each day. News of Terry's run spread across Canada, and soon the lonely highway was filled with the faces of those yearning to cheer him on. People lined the streets for as long as three hours, hoping for the chance to see Terry, run with him, or just touch his hand. With each new town he entered, spontaneous applause roared throughout the crowd. Terry Fox! He was amazed at the welcomes he received, never realizing the impact he would have. People crowded into the streets to hear this determined young man talk about his dream. There are 25 million people who live in Canada. Don't tell me that we can't raise $25 million from the public of Canada. Don't tell me that. See, I gotta set my goals high. Because I believe in miracles and I have to. Thank you. This fall in northern Ontario, after running 3,339 miles, Terry's journey was brought to a tragic halt. Unable to finish the 5,300 mile journey or reach his monetary goal for the Cancer Society, he was faced with an even greater disappointment. Yesterday I was running, and I had noticed a little bit of hardness in breathing. I decided I had to go see the doctor, and it was discovered then 
that uh, I had primary, originally I had primary cancer in my knee three and a half years ago. And uh, that the cancer had spread. And now I've got cancer in my lungs. And uh, we gotta go home and, tr and try and do some more treatment. But uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. The entire country was shocked and moved by Terry's plight. So as he began his new personal battle with cancer, Canadians held telethons to continue his goal. $9,903,182. At this date, over $12.5 million have been raised on Terry's behalf. Terry is a national hero. At 22, he became the youngest person ever to receive Canada's highest civilian award. I've always demanded a lot for myself and uh, expected a lot. And when I, when I ran across Canada, attempted to, the attitude I had in doing my very best was something I've always done. That's why it was hard for me to understand how I could be a hero. Right now, Terry is at home in Vancouver, continuing his courageous fight.